Previously on... <laughs> Previously on, Oxygen Not Included, we had done a ton of work at, uh, in terms of trying to empty out this basement, right? And get this and slow things down a little bit. So we want to empty out this basement, get it nice and uh, and tucked into here, make this great power bay that just, you know, it's it's got tons of uh, automation. Uh, not tons, but it's got enough automation to kind of keep things in check. Uh, well, I think one thing that we learned was we're, we're we actually are creating an excess of... Uh, why is there nowhere to put this stuff? We'll check on that in a second. Igneous rock should definitely have a place. So I have a feeling these this track is uh, messed up here. Oh, because we were full. That's right. Oh my gosh, we have two problems to solve today. All right. So um, yes, we got everything moved, which is awesome. And uh, we, I mean, we we're, we're generating a surplus of power now. We uh, the very last second we decided to go ahead and, and actually block this off so that way we could start depleting some of the gases that are in here and allow this copper to go and continue to build up because once these gases are gone and it's a vacuum then assuming the copper volcano will still erupt which it should um, then we'll we should have a standing chunk of I mean you see right here it's 1962.2 degrees or a thousand degrees Celsius uh, and so this stuff should technically not cool so we can save this for maybe want to build i don't know dump some water on it generate some steam something i don't know uh but we have options and so that's the reason why i block this off is just strictly so that way we could get uh you know this whole uh uh this whole area uh, open and empty <clears throat> six skip to 329 to get past the recap <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> we had so much power that we were generating, we actually decided to build four aqua tuners, um, for some reason. Because <laughs> I guess we really needed to get rid of that power. And it is using, I mean, let me see. Uh, Jesus, what is this, uh, 36, 4800 watts of energy? And we're still doing fine in terms of power, I think? Mostly, yeah, we're still doing fine. So we have, a, so, so the first, first problem we should probably take care of is the fact that we have, uh, we want to get to food. I really want to get to food today. <clears throat> I was trying to cool down the water. Wait, which water? Oh, this water. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the water going in. Yeah, I wanted to cool down the water going into this system here. Um, and it's working. 87 degrees. Uh, it was, I mean, it, the water here is 200 degrees. So that's st stupendous. <laughs> like, that's really good. And it's going through at a very slow rate. So we're not really technically using 4,800 4, watts of power. I mean, look, they're basically taking turns here. You know, just kind of pumping. Duh, 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 duh. So we're hardly using. We're actually, we're probably only using 1,200 at a time like at any given time on this particular wing here because they're all kind of taking turns. Um, which is, you know, there's better ways of doing that. We could build a loop and have it just sit there loop, loop, loop until it gets a certain temperature and then dump. We could do that too. And that would be probably more efficient, but would it be more power efficient? Not really. Uh, I mean, if we wanted to get the steel back, then yeah, we would probably go ahead and, well, it's, some of it's made out of gold, so I guess it doesn't really matter. They're working fine. Um, hot dang this industry. Hello, tomorrow, Hello, Zeno. Uh, so you're playing my favorite today. Me too. Me too. Me too. I, I, I want to play it more often. I really do. But it's just there's, you know, there's other games we got to get in there and, and try too. I'm really glad we did. This week, you know, we played Levelhead uh, last week for YouTube, folks. Uh, we played Levelhead on stream and we also played uh, uh, Fury Unleashed. Both fantastic games. So I'm hoping this weekend um, I could escape to my room for a little bit and record a couple things for those two games because they're definitely worth checking out, both of them. Um, Fury Unleashed was just so good. Anyway, so, uh, so yeah, I would definitely love to play some more of this, but you know, sometimes other things get in the way. I'm not going to worry too much about cleaning up this mess down here in terms of like getting all the pipes and all that stuff straightened out because I want to take care of some of the bigger issues, which is going to be, you know, food. Uh, why can't we put anything in storage? Stuff like that. Oh God, but storage is going to be, storage is going to be tough because there's just no, <clears throat> there's not a lot of places to put things down here, you know? What do we have? What do we have a lot of? Like, what is it that's filling these things up? Igneous rock? Maybe it's igneous rock. Maybe what we should do is actually build a separate bay of storage just for igneous rock. Because we have a ton of it. Like, I mean, look, at this is all igneous rock in here. This entire damn chain is all igneous rock. Okay, maybe not. What, what is this? Sand. Okay. <laughs> but still, igneous rock basically all the way up. Look at this everywhere. What is this? Gold amalgam. Some gold chilling in here we can't get to. <laughs> uh, phosphorite. Phosphorite's fine. Eventually we're going to run out of phosphorite though, so we should kind of keep that in the back of our back of our brains here. Let me see. 
Could be incognis rock. <laughs> That's right. It's true. It could be. It could be. <laughs> okay. What, what can we spend igneous rock on? <clears throat> we could spend it on uh, backing plates. Right? That gets rid of a ton, actually. We know this because we made a ton of dirt just reappear out of thin air by tearing down the walls. So, yeah, we could uh, affect, you know, effectively just build a whole bunch of backing plates somewhere. Um, thermal uh, plates. and Or temp shift plates. Make, can I make an igneous rock? God, tell me, tell me I can't. Please, God. Please, 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 please. Oh, no. Maybe I can't. Uh, uh, coal. Dirt. Oh, no. Dirt, dirt, dirt. Why, why can I make a dirt? Ah, there it is. Igneous rock. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. So, question is, where do we put this? Should we just, like, set a huge project for them to all do it down here? Just the whole thing? Or maybe, actually, even better, let's put it down here. It, it's, it's, this is a huge job, but, um, they could get here quickly, and they have easy access to all the igneous rock. This is a temporary fix, but I think this might be a good one. Get all of this, all the way across, all the way down. <laughs> they're working, they're working. <laughs> That's gonna get rid of so much. Where are we at right now? Igneous Rock, we're at, uh, well, it's disappearing at a rapid rate, but, uh, yeah, we were, we were at 70 something, and now it's already depleted down pretty low. Well, it's, it's fluctuating wildly, so... Cool, so they'll work on that! <laughs> That's gonna help free up the conveyor! <laughs> conveyor system, yeah! rat attack quick maps! That's right! Mm. You don't know. Let's see. This needs to get cleaned up. I mean, it's not like an emergency or anything like that, it's just gross. <laughs> like, seriously, it's just gross. Please clean it up. Um... <clears throat> yeah, all these things got to get cleaned up as well. Uh, Sleetweed Farm. I've been, I've been thinking about Sleetweed Farms, man. Like, we have ice now. We have ice times two, right? Yeah, we have ice times two. And there's lots of Sleetweed already here. So we could, we could just tell them just to come through and just, um... Wrong button. Uh, and just... What is the fuck harvest button? Why? That's what it is. Yeah, just auto-harvest all these things, which they can't reach them all. But that's like, that's a step in the right direction here. But I think that what we should do is build out a solid like barrier you know temperature controlled area inside of this biome so we're going to tear it down a little bit but use those same resources to build like you know backing plates and all that stuff or thermal uh, thermal shift plates whatever uh in order to keep that keep the room cool and we also have the option of uh oh wait <clears throat> but if i do that i'll have to actually plant them shits myself and that means they have to actually take care of them, which means they probably need water. If they're wild, then they don't need all that stuff. So that means I should get some pips. Maybe what I should do... What is this here? Maybe what I should do is go through... What does it grow in? It grows in ice and polluted ice. No problem. And snow. Okay. And granite? Okay. Critter starvation. Sage hatch. Oh, what? What are these guys doing here? <laughs> No! <laughs> this is supposed to be for these. I, I, I made a mistake. I made a, I guess I guess I set this thing to open up some sage hatches and I just kept making more. Um, continuous, no more. Okay. Jesus Christ. Great. And there's a bunch of eggs up here too. Gonna drop off. Is this for uh, sage hatches in here? Sage hatch. Nope. Boom. That's the problem right there. Okay. So they'll get that moved and they'll get over here and they'll be fine. And this is for sage. Yes, yeah, so I got the food. I guess I just didn't have that set up. So they'll go through. They'll wrangle it. I think they'll wrangle it automatically, right? Yeah, they're bagging it up. Cool. Um, I have a couple of pip eggs. Let's get the pip eggs in there. Maybe we can, maybe we can make this happen with pip eggs. That's we don't have to manage it for the sleet wheat stuff. What was this? The Star Trek fuzzballs. I don't remember. I don't remember. <laughs> I have no idea. <clears throat> we can make natural blocks, by the way. Uh, I have a mod that does that. Natural tile. So I can just click on it and then just choose any resource that I want and build one. Tribbles, that's right. Uh, so we could go through and build a bunch of ice. So if I wanted to, I could go through and replace a bunch of this with, you know, natural natural plates or natural uh, tiles. And then... Huh. 
see this is easy access right like they just go foomp right here and then run up here take care of whatever it is they need you know go shopping for whatever stuff that we want to pick up from here uh sleet wheat and whatnot what are the needs of a sleet wheat grain or uh let's see uh body it's body temperature at that part we can handle negative 61 to 41 degrees that's a pretty broad range actually wow uh air pressure seems to not really care like that's 150 to 1000 to 10,000 that's that's a lot uh oxygen polluted oxygen and carbon dioxide okay we can do all those things hydrogen is a problem and obviously as you can see we have hydrogen leaking all over the place we're trying to eject it <clears throat> into here which is having some mild success ish Hmm. What's the temperature in here? I mean, temperature's fine. Negative 27. Yeah, that's good. Got some wolframite in here. Probably use that for some projects later. Let's... Does it need water, though? Hold on a second. Fertilization, dirt, and water. So it does need water. We don't have water coming out here, do we? We don't. But we have easy access to water. The problem is this water is hot as fuck. And if we decide we're gonna tap into this, which is this would be ideal, right? Like grab the water from here. If we tap into this to feed that, yes, this water is nice and cool, but it is going to still be still be warm, of course. Uh, oh, you know what? Maybe we can exchange it in here. Like this area is all pretty chill. 60 degrees, 40 degrees, 30 degrees. We might be able to exchange it in here lightly with like, you know, regular standard piping uh and that'll get it cool enough so when we do introduce it up here to the farm it's not going to you know melt the surrounding area but the backing plates should definitely keep that shit in check the temp shift plates made out of ice that should definitely keep it in check furthermore temp shift plates in general would probably be good along the line where the standard pipes are huh Make a better aqua tuna setup. You did say you have an. I do have an. Yeah, I do have an excess of power. This this is this is the gluttony of power setup here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I think we're gonna try to milk it some more. As a matter of fact, let's take a look at our uh, report here and see colony summary. Let's see what we're doing in terms of power. <clears throat> power produced. So as of uh, what is that like a hundred cycles ago? What is it right now? Yeah. So as of a hundred cycles ago, we're at. I mean, we're doing pretty good. We're not actually going up. Maybe we're doing better at power management. I mean, we're overall, we're, we're going up across the board here, but there's no power. We're not wasting power. So we're using it, which means we're controlling our power. We're using more power. We're controlling the, the waste, which is good. Domesticated critters. That's skyrocketing. For obvious reasons, our stupid solar project. <sighs> Let me see. Your epic game started to crash. Oh. <clears throat> then open it again. Mm, how do I want to build this out? Should we take the bottom floor here? I mean, this is all abyssalite. This isn't going anywhere. So we can just build on top of this. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go and wreck all this. Plus, it'd be easier to feed it uh, carbon dioxide, actually. The entire service just went kaput. 500 air. GG. Let me see. Ice, 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 snow. Da, 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 da. I mean, that's a pretty good row right there for food, right? We just have put a door here. Insulated door, of course. Insulated uh, mechanized airlock. We have power. We could do that. So, uh, mechanized airlock. Just get him in the door. And then his plant stood it across the board there. Some power to this bitch. What's that made out of? Hold on before we commit. Iron. Aluminum, lead. Well, it looks like it doesn't matter. 25. Okay. What is this iron ore down there, huh? <clears throat> so, this is like. Cool. So, we'll get rid of this guy. Look at this. Look at Navy Devil's face. <laughs> ah! Jesus Christ. GTA 5 is free. Oh, yeah. GTA 5 free. Yeah, that's going to be a. Uh, it's going to be a fiasco. <laughs> uh, we have some pips cooking up right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a room, lock it up, and then I'm going to put some pips in here. And I guess I'll build it with some insulated tile, even though the whole surrounding area is cold. I just want to make sure, like, you know, double sure that it's not going to leak, not going to have any issues. Hey, there's Wolvie! Get him, Wolvie! Go, 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 go! And then what we'll do is we'll put a drop-off area for... Oh, it's under food. 
keep forgetting that the critter stuff's under food. Makes me sad. Because <laughs> these critters are so cute. You shouldn't just eat them. Zap, 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 zap. Damn, where'd we go? There's ice. One piece of polluted ice. Should I should I replace all this with uh, with ice just to give us kind of uniformity there? Maybe. And then storage bin. We'll put a storage bin here, and the storage bin is gonna have uh, sleet wheat seeds in it, which I think we have quite a few. Let's see, we have a lot. I, I love that we have so many different seeds with so many different things. Like this is this means that we should really start expanding on our food supplies here. Uh, this is done. Let's see. So seed. And then we're gonna find sleet wheat. Pinch of pepper, buddy bud. Okay, game is frozen. What? Wart seed, arbor acorn, balm lily, blossom, buddy buddy. Jesus, you so loud. Fungal joya, earthly nosh, peanut oxyphor. Wait, what? Do I not have any? Sleet wheat grain. Oh, did I not uproot any of them? Oh, I guess I haven't uprooted any of them then. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's dig them out. I thought that I had already gone through an update uh, and actually uh, pulled some of them out. Might as well take them all. Because once we get those pips, once they're done cooking, we're going to bring them over here and have them start to get to work. Got a couple things over here. Have these guys just kind of waltz on over here, take care of this too. Get some of that. And I think that's it. Is there a sleet wheat underneath there? No, okay. Cool. So this is going to be for, now that we have a drop, now it'll show up. Sleet wheat. Am I missing something? What? What, what the fuck? <laughs> what am I missing here? Hold on. Come get this one real quick. <clears throat> it's technically food? How do you replant it then? Can you not replant sleet wheat? I, I, I've never made a sleet wheat farm. I just, I just trying to, that's why I'm reading the instructions on <laughs> the damn thing. Is that her food? But I, yeah, but I can't, you can't, can you just plant, I guess, can you just plant the sleet wheat? I guess it is a grain. I guess you can just plant it. Okay. Well, I guess it's not filed under seeds. That would make sense. Um, but that means it wouldn't, it wouldn't show up here then, which is fine. Uh, da, 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 da. Organic? That wouldn't be unorganic. That'd be weird. Like pinch of peppers. Oh yeah. Like pinch of peppers. Okay. Yeah. You know what? That's, that's, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Get that thing out of here. So let's go to make a, wow. They're so fast. They're so fast. Make this. Right away. Very good. Turn this off. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Boom. Done. Okay. Let's see. Uh, cooking ingredients. So this is where sleep with grain. There it is. Okay, cool. Nine. Move everything to there. Thank you. <clears throat> Will they pull from a ration box? We're going to find out. Oops. Just a nine. Chinatown says nope. Well, we're going to find out. <laughs> Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, we need this to work, man. Need to manually drop them out. Oh, okay. So I could just, yeah, I could, I could do that. That's no problem. These need to get built, though. Like, at the very least. Because if we drop off a pip, it's gone. <laughs> it's it's going to take off. Uh-oh. Did I, did I get the click before this thing froze? Okay, good. How is that going, by the way, over here? Uh-oh. They're free. That means they're somewhere else. Where is that pit? Probably in here somewhere. Oh my god, there's so many. So many hatch. Ah, there he is. Hey, buddy. Let's go and wrangle that guy. And then for you, we'll make this like an eight. That way we don't wrangle him, put him right back. The description actually says it prevents hungry critters. Oh, how funny. Yeah, I'll just drop it off. It's fine. I'll just like click to change it. Oh man, they didn't build this door. Son of a... Build this damn door. We had an iron, come on. Go, 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 go. Before we drop this thing off. Good. One more cheap piece of that thing there, and then we're good. Come on now. A little bit of a mess here. Get 
What is that? Dasha Saltvine. Are they gonna... Is there an errand for this? Navy Devil. No deliveries. Uh-oh. What did we do with the, uh... What did we do with that pip, guys? Did we put it back? Oh, we did. We put it back. <laughs> we put it back right here. Alright, let's go ahead and take this off of, uh, out of pip duty here. There, no pips. There. Wait, where are all my... Oh, they're all in, they're all in like one tile here. Oh my god, look at that. Look how many sage hatches there are. I, 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 don't, even, I don't even know how many are here. Twelve. There are twelve there in that stack. <laughs> it's quite cozy. <laughs> Alright, there you go. We're getting the grab here. Navy Devil. Navy Devil's running over. Zoom! Should be coming out of here in a second. Actually, we're waiting for that. Let's go get this. Copper. Totally need that with that copper volcano going crazy over there. Oh my god, where'd he take it? Navy Devil. Come on, man. Do I have to watch? Current errand. Relocate critter. <laughs> These guys get distracted by sleep! Get out of my face! What up, Domino? Sleep is for the week. There it is, Pip Squeak. Two of them. Good. Alright, guys. Now. Um do -do -do -do. we'll just go ahead and uh We're gonna lock this door. So no one gets in. Oops, oops, oops. No one gets in. Then we're gonna drop this. Because if I do if I don't do this, then they're gonna come and try to fix the problem here. So I don't know how long it's gonna take, but hopefully they get to work. It's probably gonna take a while, actually. I kind of want to watch to see if they pick up at least one. He's wanting to cuddle. Eddie, he, took, he, took it to, he took it to bed with him. Aww. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll have to come back later and see. We did leave a huge mess there, which kind of sucks. But it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, so... I guess I don't have to worry about running pipe over there for now. If they can actually get those things all, like, put down, then we don't have to worry about running water over there, which is great. Uh, meanwhile, over here, our dirt resources are down to what? Our igneous rock, rather. We're still at 65.8, so we still have a lot of uh, dirt. So let's go and bump this up to a 6. All these projects here. Construction. There we go. Let's get these up to a 6. They're working on it, but it ain't working on it hard enough, though. Let's get that thing together. Come on. And it's good, because now they got this area cleaned up. There was a bunch of garbage here. So, fantastic. That's taken care of. <sighs> Bristle Blossoms! Oh, man! Do I need to build my... I wonder if I should rebuild the same farm setup that I had in the other, uh, in my other save. I have a blueprint for it. That'd be an easy way of doing it. That'd probably be the smart way of doing it, frankly. Yeah, I know. Just atmosphere, I know. That's why I said I don't have to run pipe over there, if they could actually do the job. Um... I could put Bristle Blossoms in this bottom rung here. And just install a couple lights. That's not a bad idea. Look, that'll do it. Let me see. Slow it down a little bit. Hmm, furniture. Ceiling lights. Yeah, we get some pretty good spread here, actually. They can't reach this right now. We'll put a ladder in for them to reach it. So let's go ahead and plan ahead here. Make it out of aluminum, some cheap. And then another one here. Actually, this would make this machine useful because the farm station is not usable with the uh, <laughs> with the uh, meal wood, which I didn't know. <laughs> Let's see. Can you? Act oh, can they reach it though? Mm -hmm. Tear up something else to make that work. Uproot something. Well, actually, this is perfect. Uproot this. Sorry, it's basically ready to go, anyways. And then boom. And for this one. 71%, 31%, we're not gonna miss it, so just go and just uproot this guy too. There, they can get these things built. So we'll check back that on that in a second. Actually, let's go and get some power over there. Can they reach? Oh, I don't think they can reach. They might be able to reach. Oh yeah, they should be able to reach. This one is gonna be questionable here. I don't think they can reach that. We'll see in a second. Checking all those pips. 
but this... God, I wish I didn't leave this thing such a mess. I guess they're just gonna... This is hungry. Oh, because... Oh, damn it. There's no arbor trees for them to eat. How long... How long until... Will they reproduce before they die? Can we just, like, keep these things moving? Like, will they... <laughs> I mean, obviously these guys won't, but... Hmm. I totally forgot I gotta give them food. And they'll only take it off a tree, too, which kind of sucks. Eh, we'll see what happens. Maybe we'll get a couple good, uh... A couple things planted, and then we'll... We'll crack open another one over here, you know, move like that. Wild always makes an egg before death for any critter. That's what I'm talking about. We don't have to worry about it. <laughs> Here's something to be fed to plant stuff. What? Don't need to be fed to plant stuff. Oh, I know that. I, I know that they'll they'll plant stuff without being. I, I know it's not like you you feed them and then they do a trick. I know it's not like that. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm aware of that. Just need to. Be, just need to be, okay, it's the adult thing. That that part I wasn't sure of. So we have to wait for them to grow up. That sucks. I need results now. Okay, how's our... God, there's still so much. What is this? Igneous. There's so much igneous rock still. Despite despite going through and doing as... Mm, building as many as they have. I mean, they still have so many more to build, though. So I guess we still have some time here. In the meantime... Wait for it to catch up. Let's go take a look at our mini uh, volcano vacuum over here. 50 micrograms. We're really getting down. Oh, it's counting down pretty quickly, actually. We might actually see this thing in real time here. Just foom, vacuum all of a sudden. Let me see. Did I set up a... Uh, one, two. Yeah, there we go. Two. And there's three. Okay, that's pretty close. That's pretty good. Oh, the cold! <laughs> the cold is forming. <laughs> oh man! I guess we might we might have to send somebody down here just to like grind some stuff out, or maybe we'll build a robo miner actually out of steel to keep this stuff from uh, from building up here. Do we have power coming down here? Hold on, hold on! I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. We don't. So a miner might be kind of a pain in the ass. Will it though? I mean, it doesn't have to run that often. Shit, if we make this, if this thing turns into a vacuum, if somebody comes up here. Um, let's do this. We're going to make a sacrifice here in our, um, on our setup here, just to kill these two. So let's see, printables available. Fungal spore, take it. Oh, is there a spider again? You know, you uh, uh, <laughs> fucking guys. I was gonna say, as, as as few of people that I feel show up to watch Sub Night, you know, uh, compared to like other streams, uh, boy, man, e everything that we do there sure does sure is remembered. <laughs> so let's do this then. Um, we'll just do a couple of uh, ladders to get across here. There we go, up and around. And then what we'll do is we're gonna build a small, just a small battery station kind of thing. So control, make it out of something we have quite a bit of. Let me see. I guess something that's uh oh. I'm not gonna have a way to really exhaust heat. So it'll just it'll just perpetually get hot. Eh, let's try it anyways. Maybe it'll take a long time for it to get hot. Let's make it out of whatever. Uh, not whatever, actually. Copper. Copper. And then we'll run wire. Just bullshit wire. And we'll just go right up to here for the battery. And then we'll connect it over here for the robo miner. And this will keep this stuff from uh, bulking up like this. So let's see. Shipping, robo miner. Can we put it here though? Right above this thing? Oh, uh, we can't. Okay, here we can. Okay, this is it's fine. Okay, and battery here. Yeah, I think the battery is gonna get just gonna, just gonna continue getting hot until it just explodes. But you know, we'll put it there anyway. See how long it lasts. If it lasts for 100 cycles, we have to tear it down, and rebuild it again. I'm not gonna be mad. Could you use a solar panel to power to it? No, I don't think you could put solar panels out here and get any sun. Unfortunately, I think it only it, solar panels only work, I believe, up here. Which I don't know when we're gonna tackle this. One day we will, I promise. Just not today. <laughs> not this week. Tons of sage hatches over there. Critters are gonna start dying. 
How are we doing over here? No grown-ups? Dang it. Oh, there's one actually. Oh yeah. Oh, we got one planted. Hey, hey! It's working! It's working! Then we're gonna get an egg. Oh, he looks so unhappy. He's a tiny baby. He's so unhappy. He'll be fine. This thing, this whole setup over here. Jesus, man. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I see what's happening here. We keep rebuilding these things. We should not. We're rebuilding it because this thing has got water five tons at negative 2.2. Did we determine what happens when we bust this thing open? Is it just turned right into, uh... We have some ice here. If we just pop this thing, is it going to turn to ice? This whole thing here needs to go away. It's because it's causing it's causing havoc, clearly. So let's just get rid of it. Take a gander real quick. There is water going through. That is meant to go to. So we're running it through to go nowhere. Actually, yeah, we're we're not really going anywhere with it. So where is it coming from? Okay, so it doesn't look like it's really necessary right now. Yeah, so if we if we block all this stuff off and destroy it, it's gonna be fine. We're not using this water for anything, so. God, but I just realized we could totally use this water over there to water that sleet wheat. <laughs> sleet wheat would love this ice cold water. Uh, but we don't have to worry about that because this would be a great place to put a sleet wheat farm, actually. Huh. Get rid of all the hydrogen though. That's too much work already. Already. How are we doing, fellow kids? We got one. Can I get another? Let's get to work. Let me see, how's the wall project going? Nice! Build that wall! Look at it. It's beautiful. What is Lindsay doing? Oh, she just stopped. Okay, then she's gone. That was weird, did you see that? She's like stuck right here for a minute. That one doesn't need to be there. We have built so many chunks of wall and we have not actually moved an available igneous rock. We're still in the same general range. Uh, despite having built so many of these temp shift plates, which used like 800 each, I think, right? Let me see. Utilities, temp shift plates, 800 each. So, yeah, like... <sighs> that's how much igneous rock we just had laying around, actually. That's crazy. Like, in, like in conveyors, I should say. Cause it's When it's in a conveyor system, it's not available. So it's not credited towards the igneous rock, like, you know, uh, total, tally. So yeah, that's uh, it's impressive. How's this doing over here? <laughs> they haven't even started it. Uh, eight micrograms. Oh god, we're getting down there. Let me see. Let's make this like a seven. No, because then it'll abandon the other project. Let's make it like a six. Yeah, just have it just zap, 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 zap. Right, it'll just keep this nice and clean. Uh, we're not gonna have this copper build up because eventually this thing is going to look at bloop bloop. <laughs> Eventually this thing's gonna bury itself in, in a copper wall. I don't necessarily want to do that yet. Don't we have some like, what is one of these guys there? Pluto oxygen and this uh, chlorine gas. Damn it. Yeah, not ideal. I would like to continue our journey down here to get this uh, area. They clear it out, but I think that's gonna be on hold for now. That's gonna take forever. <laughs> Oh, actually, an easy way to see would be, uh, hitting Y. Oh, they got four of them now. Hey! Wow, this is actually working out. What is this? Copper. Yes! Take more copper. I don't know what to do with this. This is, uh... I would say this is not necessarily a successful project. We're putting out ten watts of power. <laughs> so, we'll probably end up tearing that down today, actually. It was a lot of fun. But... I think, uh, yeah, I think, I think, I think we're done with that. Come on, come on, come on. Nope. Let's get this built. Let's get this built! Mmm! Look at that! Oh wait, oh, oh, it is unreachable, damn. Yeah, they actually fixed it. So you can't, it doesn't work anymore, like it did, like in Brothgar's video. It doesn't work like that anymore, unfortunately. Oh, what the? Oh! Okay. So now we have lights. 
Uh, go to that one, okay. Which means we could, uh, we could uproot this and start pumping in some... What's the temperature in here? Pretty chill, pretty chill. But yeah, if you have too many shine bugs, the shine bugs in a room, then the shine bugs will shut down. They get upset and they shut down. So, I think that's, uh, that's something that Clay put in after the fact. Unfortunately. Kinda nice to have some shine bugs though, just kinda laying around. We can just keep on, you know, cracking open some new ones and such. Let me see. Pufflet, uh, Pufflet Prince. Oh, we have no eggs. Hmm. Surprising, actually. We had a ton of, we had a ton of shine bugs in there for a bit there, but... But I guess not anymore. Okay, let's go ahead and dig these out. We'll start from scratch here. Dig them all out. Replace them all with, uh, bristle blossoms. Uh, actually, we'll replace the entire floor with some... Proper, uh, not hydroponic. That's the let's see, must be okay. Yeah, aquatic farm is underwater, but yeah, good place with these here. Make them out of aluminum. Oh, dude, don't tell me to do like that. Oh, I thought I could just overwrite these things. Did he use wasn't it water airlock? So, could, oh, that's right. Yeah, he did use his a he used a, a water airlock. Yeah, that's this that's going too far. <laughs> that's too far for me. I forgot about that though, you're right. Let me see. I should build a, just a simple floor all the way across here. And then we can go through and do this. Is there anything underneath? Any wires? Good. Okay. Explode. Explode. Oh, of course it's too far. Yeah, yeah, I know, huh? Just kind of what you do. It's a creative use of game mechanics too far from- yeah, yeah, me too. Alright, so they get all this stuff built, which is good. Of course, how are they doing down here? God, they're almost done. And we still have an abundant- we're still full. <laughs> well, where else should we put uh, more igneous rock backing plates? Jesus. I guess we could fill this area with it. They have relatively quick access. That's just such a perfect storm. All the all the igneous rock is right there. Uh oh. Water, 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 water. Do we just need to increase the flow here or what? How's the temperature in here doing? Hard to tell, it's not really moving. Try and see if that Kelvin number moves at all. We need to increase the flow, obviously. We have other showers and bathrooms that are still available to them, but uh, yeah, we'll have to increase the flow a little bit. We'll come back and check that later. Yes, yeah, so we'll set this to uh, like 425. Not much, so it took a while for that to actually empty out, and actually it's fine now. So maybe 425 is actually even too far. Let's make it uh, 415. There we go. Trying to find that balance. Okay, they got all this done. Fantastic. Fantastic. And then we'll go on hydroponic farm all the way across. Zoop. Good. Let's run pipes underneath. That way you don't have to uh, worry about any heat transfer inside of the room. What up, Sputnik? Mark II. Uh, let's make an igneous rock. Forget, does sleet wheat or sorry, uh does bristle blossom take is it just water that it wants? I don't have one planted anywhere, so I can't know for sure. Actually, here we go. Let's plant one real quick and take a look what it says. Oh actually, oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Huh? Is that some barrel? Yeah, hilarious. Uh blossom see, here we go. Um It wants just water. Okay, cool, just water. Word. We do that. Insulate a pipe again. So much water. But it's gotta be relatively cool water. I wonder if we should steal it from here. Build a bridge and just steal some. This is I mean this is a direct path of cool water. What's the temperature of this water here? 68 degrees. God, that's like really good. 
As long as we don't, as long as we don't burden this too much. Like this temp ship plate, there you go. So this temp ship plate just dropped from 234 Kelvin to 233.7. So it is still getting colder despite the fact that we increased the flow. The question is how much more do we need to increase the flow in order to get it um, to feed this row of plants? That's going to be... Yeah. So let's see. Let's go and grab... We'll feed it right out of here. Uh, and then we'll hook it right up into this. Oh snap, Natty Gas! Natty Gas, yo! Oh snap. Ah. We might be entering a uh, natural gas recession. Let me see. We have a bunch over here that's still pumping. So we're going through this right now. Let's see, we could probably go ahead and actually drop this down a little bit just to get some more out of here. Which means we should probably start pumping some more. Oh, we don't have enough petroleum. Maybe we should turn this on to just let it cook through some of the petroleum because we're not really using it over here. Or maybe we just leave it alone because we still have these petroleum generators we're not really using. And they're sitting out here in basically a vacuum. Speaking of vacuum, seven milligrams, which I feel like is more than the micrograms. Oh, they built the project. They built all this stuff. So, how, wait, is this thing getting hotter? Ah, look, it's getting hotter and hotter. It's gonna melt down. It's totally gonna melt down. There's just no, there's no heat transfer. And this whole area is hot as fuck, so yeah. If I make it out of steel, maybe. Actually, if I make it out of steel, it would reach an upper limit. It would totally reach an upper limit, and then it would just cease. But the rover miner's doing his job. Good. Besides your wheeze wart cooling loop. Well, the, um, I don't think there's any room in here for any more. I think we've got it pretty much packed full of ice plates. You know? Uh, so I think this room is good. There's a couple, there's a couple of spaces up here, but I don't think that's really going to have an impact. Um, I think what we'll do is, if anything, what we'll do, because right now the water coming out is 67 degrees. I think we could probably sacrifice one of these. The outer chamber. Oh, man. That's, that's tough because, you know, the ice, the ice temp shift plates... The ice temp shift plates just maintain temperature for as long as they can, like, uh, given their surrounding, you know? So, like, if I put ice temp shift plates around the area, right? Like, especially along the pipes here, this is what you're saying, right? Uh, they will eventually warm up to the point that they're going to melt, you know? Because there's nothing to, to basically feed it again. Like these these temperature plates are getting fed by these wheeze warts to maintain that temperature. So they're kind of working in unison. But I don't have anything out here for it. So I think I think probably the easiest thing to do is just sacrifice the extra few degrees. Like it's 67 degrees coming out. If I go ahead and block off one of these just to save a little bit of uh, heat being being spent in this room or transferred in this room, then so be it. Like that'd be totally fine. Um, or alternatively, I can just build another damn aqua tuner down here. <laughs> Just, just, just stack aqua tuners, man. We get a few more in there, you know? <laughs> All of them just running at once. The most inefficient thing you've ever seen. Just, uh, Rothgar would just be so upset. But yeah, we can just plug one of these if we need to. But right now, we're gonna, we're gonna, right now the water is slowly filtering over. Yeah, so we'll see when it gets full in here. Actually, let's go and plant these seeds now. Eight, and then we'll uh, copy settings. Put a valve with a temp sensor on it to divert it. You mean like, um... Oh, like I do with the AC? Like right now with the AC, I have a separate valve here that just basically pulls in uh, hot oxygen whenever it's triggered by automation. Um, in order to mix with the cool oxygen to kind of maintain, you know, a little bit of a your medium temperature, right? Depending on what the thermostats tell us. Which, by the way, wow, we're... I mean, this is fine. It's just going to take a long-ass time for that to balance. Oh, we're running out of water in some of these here, by the way. So we need to raise that up a little bit. Pinch your pepper seed. In your ration boxes? Yo, yeah, yeah, there's some polluted water down there. That's gross. God, they, they, they can't get down here anyways. I don't think... Well, they can, actually. But do they? Let me see. The stress is at zero, so... The stress has been at zero for so long, like, I, I, I guess you just don't notice those things. Um, 
Anyways, yeah, so running a water the diversion here to just basically be triggered by whatever temperature it reads here. So if this reads, you know, 67 degrees or whatever, uh, if over a certain amount of time, then I could divert it here in order to add some more warm water to the mix. Um, yeah, it's not a bad idea. Let's increase it first and to see if we could still maintain the temperature inside here. If not, we'll add one more insulated plate and then go from there. So let's go make this, uh, make it 450. It's a pretty significant jump, but we'll see. Oh, my food decaying? Oh yeah, that's right. It would put a, uh, yeah. Well, what's in here? I, I have so much damn food. You see, this is the problem is I have an abundance of so many things that it's hard for me to track what it is that's actually wrong. <laughs> uh, body temperature. Yeah, I figured body temperature would be first thing. It's probably pretty close, right? Nope, not really. Um, let me see. How do I want to solve this one? You see, there's a lot of cold ass oxygen here. The... 1200. Oh, yeah, we could flood the room. That's easy. That's super easy. We just flood the room. We'll make this, uh, we'll make this, uh, 1800. That way there's still a little bit of wiggle room there. Copy settings to here. Now this room's gonna just basically pump full of cold air. Look at this. It's beautiful. So let's pump it full of cold air. It's, it's, it's hot because the materials we use, igneous rock and all this stuff is hot. Hence the reason why I put the tubes, uh, the pipes underneath, uh, and not inside to kind of mitigate some of that transfer there. But yeah, we'll just flood the room like this, and, uh, and they'll just you know, do the thing. Now, what is this set to? 70 degrees. Maybe we'll bump this down actually to like 60. I think they have their own. Oh, you know what? They're all the same. Yeah, maybe we'll bump them all down to 65 then. <sighs> There's a lot of stuff stacked there. No, what? 1800 degrees. Uh, what? Oh, I, I, no, no. <laughs> That's what threw me off. I was like, I must be able to get the wrong thing. Totally programmed the wrong thing there. Did I get this right? I did. 1800. 1800. Cool. So 65 degrees for those. Stop the flow into the room. Open up the emergency. It could also be bypass if the cold room gets too warm. Yeah, no, that's that's what Spunnik was talking about. And I, like I said, I did that already with the uh, with the gases, and that's bouncing pretty well. But I, like I said, instead of going and building any kind of like bypass system, first thing I want to do is just plug one of these, uh, uh, just just plug one of the uh, um, standard pipes that are in here. That's in here with a insulated pipe, and that will help mitigate some of that uh, uh, some of that transfer. So it is temp shift plate still getting colder. So as long as as long as that temp shift plate continues to get, I always look at the one on the third one right here because I don't know, I just not, I get I just out of habit. She's the same one every time. Uh, but as long as it does not get any warmer, then we're good. The colder it gets, though, obviously the colder the water is going to get coming out the other side. So we can get it to swing pretty wildly to one direction and get it down to like negative 76, which I think is kind of the max for the Wheeze Warts. Then that'd be excellent because then the water coming out would not need as much exposure to the room in order to get to the temperature that we need. So we could actually, we could uh, replace some of those uh, standard pipes, insulated pli pipes, and just use that as our, you know, natural uh, mechanism for controlling temperature, liquid temperature. Maybe. <laughs> How are we doing over here? Wrong button. Dang it, every time I hit J, I don't know why. They ain't doing the job. Well, as long as they make babies before they, uh, before they kick it, I think I'm good. Hungry. Hungry, not starving, though. <laughs> I don't want to hear it if you're not starving. How's this doing? This room should be getting pretty chilly. Ooh, kind of. Still, still hot. God, it's still hot. 94 degrees. Sounds like a job for a stack of temp shift plates. The liquid coming in is, uh, is cold. Not a lot of it, though. No, no water's getting up here. We see the water's getting backed up down here. I'll solve this problem in a second. Let's get this taken care of first. Yeah. Yeah. Thankfully, it's not that far. So if we need to do like a shot off or something like that, right? To keep water going, coming in here, we could easily do it. Because it's not far from the source. So we could build a bypass pretty easily if we need it. But yeah, let's just build a couple temp shift plates real quick. Just to drop that temperature dramatically. And then we'll deal with it. Made a mess. No, who, why? Lindsay, why? Because... Oh, sh... What? We just checked those ones. They had water. Oh, the output is fucking clogged. Uh-oh. 
you made a mistake somewhere. <laughs>